people of Cascadia, uh, people of Earth. I just want you guys to see what's happening here. I, I'm the first president of the entire American continent, and they're, they're still trying to uh, distract you in the media and prattle uh, with the same mundane stuff. Uh, the former U.S. government is so backwards and upside down and behind the times. It's an idiocracy, and you see it plain as day when you have the Justice Department suing Texas for abolishing abortion. You see, Texas finally understands basic rights. You have to uphold our unalienable right to life. You see, the government can't even take our unalienable right to life away from us. This right to life was supposed to be protected from the womb, ladies. There was never supposed to be this thing called women's rights. And that's a rude awakening. It's an awful awakening for everyone who's been acclimated into accepting it. A child from the womb has to be protected. This is called understanding basic rights. You have a right to life from the womb. And uh, to disregard that is simply dehumanization. It's the ugliest face of humanity. We don't dehumanize each other. We, we're not gerbils. We don't eat our young, is what I always say. Uh, it's important that we uphold basic rights. It's important that the Justice Department finally understands why I started a new country on the West Coast in 2014. You guys are eight years behind. Uh, t Texas finally understanding basic rights, it, it, it's a step in the right direction. So uh, America, uh, your entire prison system is unconstitutional. If you want to talk about the U.S. Constitution and being oath keepers, uh, you can't pretend to know the Constitution if you still have this the biggest prison industrial complex in the world. It means you don't understand the Eighth Amendment. You don't understand that it's cruelty. You don't care about your own constitution. You don't care about the Declaration of Independence and understanding Jefferson. You haven't for two and a half centuries, and this is why I started a new country. You're dumb. Every president, every governor, the Supreme Court, the Justice Department is suing Texas right now for abolishing abortion, and I want you to see uh, the times we're living in, how far we've gone down the rabbit hole the wrong way. The biggest march in history was the Pink Hat March, and it's the biggest show of ignorance that humanity's ever seen in the United States. The U.S. has intellectually collapsed. I, I left the Union in 2014, so it, we became a new country on the West Coast eight years ago, and of course it's going to be omitted in the media, it's U.S. media, and they legalize propaganda, so they don't have to tell you the truth, they can just spoon-feed you stuff that uh, appeals to U.S. interests. So you really have to make your own media in 2021. Uh, everything is so backwards, they're 20 years later, it's 9-11, and they're trying to say that uh, the plane still brought the towers down. They've been lying to the public for 20 years. You know, it's time we stood correct. Uh, if you want to argue about it, uh, take a look at uh, when Stephen E. Jones lost his job at BYU for talking about the nanothermite that they found as uh, evidence that it actually was brought down by controlled demolition. It's internationally known around the world that it was a controlled demolition, and here in the United States, with compartmentalized, biased U.S. media, they're still trying to lie to you. So it's really sad. America's just lost its way. <laughs>